Happy birthday, if it's your birthday. Happy blade birthday, if it's in the past. Happy future birthday, if it's in the future. My name is Lime Brain, and welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. But I draw absolutely everything. I am in the Galactic HQ. It's weird how it's called the Galactic HQ, isn't it? It's not called, like, Galactic Command or something. I don't know. Uh, this time on, uh... Pokemon, uh, I've brought together four images from previously seen on the channel, and uh, now we're going to try and assemble them, so they are both pleasing to your eyes, somewhat, somewhat, I'll say, and correlate to what's happening on the game. If that makes any sense. Uh, we've never done this before. And I, I came across this idea while thinking about, you know, new things to do in this series, I guess. I don't know, I don't know if that makes sense or if it'll be cool or not. So this is kind of like a, you know, when we're walking around in... Elix Forest. This is like Slow King getting zapped, I believe. This is, I believe, a Silcoon. And this is just like a door. And so we can kind of modify them as we see fit. So right now, here we are. This is kind of like what they do in animation, right? They reuse uh, like animated animation cells. Like the most famous one was like uh, Jungle Book, and uh, the Winnie the Pooh. Winnie, <laughs> yeah, Winnie the Pooh. I I wanted to say Winnie of Pooh. And then there's a guy, I've been with Team Galactic for five years. I haven't gotten a promotion yet. You got promotions? It kind of like loops around. There's a guy. You have to draw. Here's a story I want to talk about. Door is locked. A special key is needed. I want to tell a story. I'm not sure why it popped into my head. But it did. I'm pretty sure I haven't told it. Oh, what have we here? A trainer who has lost their way? You would really have to be lost to get down here. Use a key card. Wander <laughs> down to the depths. Uh, so the story I have is once I was Golbat. Oh, we can turn the Silcoon into a gold bat. Watch this. Uh, once I went to like this science camp, I was kind of like how how would you explain this? You had to learn about science, and it's like I guess sci-fi almost. And, you know, they were teaching about, you know, oh, aliens. And, you know, kind of teaching you, I guess, you know, building and taking things apart. You know, the aliens were cool. The taking things apart. The, you know, I, I ain't much of a mechanic. I know, uh, oh, jeez. I know other people <laughs> in uh, gaming 
They're, they're more into that. I wasn't sure how this episode was going to be. Like changing things into other things, but this is kind of cool. Uh... But, you know, they said, you have to bring, uh, I, I'm going to turn this guy into Marowak, <laughs> uh, you have to bring something, oh, uh, Segway, you have to bring something, you want us to, uh, like, take apart, turn something into another thing. So, I looked around the house, and there was nothing. And I was like, what should I take apart? And all there was, was a PlayStation 1. And <laughs> everyone in the comments is like, what? What? And let me tell you. My thinking was, we had a PlayStation 2, and a PlayStation 2 can play PlayStation 1 games. That's Marowak, okay? So, uh, that, that was my thinking. You can just play PlayStation 1 games on your PlayStation 2. There's Poison Fang. But so it it was a working PlayStation one. I I'll, I'll also add on there. Uh, so I took it up there, and you know we took it apart to see how it worked, and. Also to you know turn it into a robot. It was a it was a robot camp pretty much. Uh, a robot alien camp. And we we're like, oh this is how it <laughs> charges, I guess. This is how it I guess it makes sounds crazy and you know we took it all apart and the person I was working with uh, they helped me turn it roboticize it and then at the end of the project oh zinc 41 minutes I don't believe you At the end of the project, they were like, hey, you can have this on, like, every other weekend or whatever. Or every other week, and I was like, cool. And then I never got it back. But I still have the controller. That was one thing I kept. And the memory cards. Because I, I didn't want to roboticize them. But that camp was cool. Can I turn this guy into a dust tox? Let me see. I feel like I can. Kinda. Can 
we just use that? We're just gonna use that Marowak. Because he didn't even think. Or wait, hold on, I'll trace over it. Stomping tantrum. Bronzor. Oh, we can use the head for bronze. <laughs> Pokemon. Cost cutting edition. Saving time edition. <laughs> I, I do enjoy saving time. All my homies love saving time. Okay. That Bronzor? Does he have a mouth? Okay, stop showing me the Team Galactic. Stop showing me Marowak. Like, he has like a nose thing. <laughs> Alright. Does he have Levitate? He does not have Levitate. Galactic. Oh sure, why don't you get cocky about it? Alright, well end today's episode by going up the elevator or stairs. Elevator? Signified <laughs> by the door. So, while I draw this, thank you so much for watching. Uh, today has definitely been a weird episode. But it, it's been, uh, probably the most refreshing episode. You know, trying to fill in the blanks. You know, turn Silcoon into a Golbat and <laughs> a person into a mop. Uh, dust ox, not Motham. Uh, you can't say it wasn't 
We didn't even use this. Well, if we do another one of these, we'll we'll use all four squares. So, uh, next time on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, we will use all four squares, hopefully. It won't be this format. It will be another kooky format. So tune in next time for another kooky format. Until then, see ya.